guys welcome back i hope that you're all doing well and today we are going to clear things up things up a bit uh regarding the beast because a lot of people don't really understand uh some items and stuff and i always see the same question so i like i know that some things need to be cleared uh like with some items typically but for some other questions, like, I already explained it all, but, yeah. I will explain it again. So, let's start with uh, the first thing. So, to unlock the beast reserve right there, to get beast materials, like vicious fangs and sturdy bones, which are useful to level up beasts, you have to have a chief hall level 25 all right so you need a chief hall level 25 and you also need your uh, a beast of epic rarity or legendary rarity okay so e uh, either a purple or an orange beast of level 7 star or above and I'm talking about stars okay in this video you will have to understand uh, the difference and I will explain it to you the difference between stars and levels okay because it's pretty misleading and a lot of people are mixing mixing everything and they are completely lost so we are going to see things uh, and figure things out okay so chief hall level 25 and beasts epic or legendary uh with seven star or above and then and only then you can unlock beast reserve okay a lot of people are asking me is there a way to get more legendary beast from the beast trap yes there is here is how you go through your research and right here okay you've got a research dedicated to beasts where is it actually oh it's right there okay you got this tree is for beast growth okay if you scroll all down to the bottom you've got these it grants, it grants a chance to directly get 2 star or better beast from beast trap. And you get 1.8% chance for a 3 star and 9.7% chance, uh, chance for a 2 star. Okay? So we'll you will have better, uh, better star. You have a chance, a chance to get higher stars, beasts, okay? So you don't increase your chances to get a legendary beast, but you do increase your chances to get a 2 star or a 3 star. And if you're lucky enough to get a legendary beast, it can be a, a 2 star or 3 stars. So it's pretty huge. So this is really important and anyway you need to max out this tree to unlock the T10 tree, okay? So you should uh, go for this research anyway. Now let's go back to beasts. So you have two things to understand when it comes to beasts. You can either star up a beast right there or upgrade a beast maybe they shouldn't have called that upgrade but level up instead maybe things would have been easier to understand for people i don't know anyway it doesn't really matter so you can star up the star up as the name indicates allows you to star up beasts okay so you you just have to use beasts like this and then you can star up now if you want to transfer the stars of a beast, you have to do it this way. 
if you take the beast with the lower star level okay i'm i'm sorry to use the the word level but i have to because there is also yeah you maybe uh you need to take the beast with the lowest star rating okay maybe rating will be less misgiving misleading my bad so imagine you want your ground slot to become like my ground slot right here is eight star all right imagine i want to make it a nine star and i want to, s to swap the star i can use this beast okay you get a warning it's an upgraded beast resources spent for its upgrade are non-refundable still continue so i'm i'm not gonna really do it so i'm gonna click confirm but if you are really gonna do it uh i will explain you what you have to do so i want to do that i want to transfer uh, my star from my bird to my ground slot i i click on accept and then you go to star swap preview okay you click and then you got the number of meteorites required to do the swap okay and as you can see you, you see the swap result there so you transfer your stars from the bird to the slots and here you can see the difference eight star nine star nine star eight star okay and the number of meteorites required depends on the number of stars. Now, where do you find these meteorites? You can click on get more and go and it redirects you to the packs. So you can find it here, okay? In my opinion, it's not worth doing stuff like that. You're better off just buying regular beasts and like... The best method is to, like, imagine my beasts are 9 star, uh, just upgrade another beast to 9 star and then fuse them uh, in the correct order, so the beast you want to become another, just become another. Don't buy these things. If you want to, feel free to, uh, I just show you how it's done. So you really gotta understand that you have to use the lowest like you can swap if you want the feature to to be displayed you have to take like the lowest level so uh, the lowest star rating so seven right here and let's say i want to transform it into a 10 star i use my megaloceros 10 like you have to do it this way not the other way around like you don't use the 10 star to feed uh, to like you don't feed the 8 star to the 10 star it's the other way around you use the low level beast you feed the highest level and then you, you click on star swap okay so this clears two things how to use the meteorite how to like star swap and what is the star up okay now we we, we still have one thing to cover or actually two. So you now know how to star a beast. You also know how to star swap them. Now, how do you level them up? Because yes, it is a thing. As you can see right there, I've got a gas tornis leveled up. It's level 26. You can see the level right there, there, and also there, okay? So, to level up a beast, it has to be epic rarity or legendary and 7 star at least. If it's under like this, you can click on upgrade and if you click, it displays only beasts with at least 7 stars can be upgraded. Okay? So, it's the same for uh, epic and you can't upgrade. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's not a comeback beast, so wait a second. Yeah, right here. Only purple and orange beasts can be upgraded. Alright, now, if you want to start up, let's say I want to start up my ground slot. I just click on upgrade, 
and then you've got all the requirements okay it's pretty easy and one thing you gotta know is that you you can find uh, actually the costs on my discord i've posted them so if you want to plan things ahead you 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 just check it out on my discord now there is one thing that is important it is that past level 20 to upgrade a beast you will have requirements like this and this is where a lot of people are like don't understand things you have to own three level five level five beasts of the same quality it's not own three five star beasts of the same quality it's three level five so and i insist on level so it's not a star up it's an upgrade okay so you have to have three beasts level five or above so right there as you can see i have one beast that is level five or above two and three and the beast that you actually want to level up counts as one of the three so i like i have three beasts leveled up not four so it counts the one that you are actually leveling up which is good they could have done it another way so that's a good point i hope that now you guys understand that and so to upgrade you need materials and these materials can either be bought uh be bought in the in the shop under the beast section okay right there or if you have the re requirements which are ta chief all 25 and the beast star up to seven or above you can go to the beast reserve and there you have a passive income the efficiency depends on the level you can you can explore okay so right there i can try to explore the next level but i'm not strong enough so the higher the level of exploration in the beast reserve the better the efficiency okay and don't forget to quick collect like before it, it it's full because otherwise you are losing materials now you have to understand two things with resets, uh, with, with the talent, with the the level up. Once you level up a beast, you will get talent points. Okay, these talent points, and you also increase your warrior capacity, but it's not relevant there. These talent points can be used in the beast talent right here. You just have to click there, and you use your points. However you like, uh, I recommend you to check my videos about this. I explain what, like, where to go for, uh, what to go for in the in the tree for each each beast. So check it up. Uh, it's not today's video. Now, what can you do with these points? Let's say you made a mistake and you want to change your setup like how are you 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 want to change your talent points uh disposition okay you want to reallocate these points somewhere else like maybe i build defense and in fact i would have liked to go universal way better you just click on talent points right here and it costs talent respecting leaf okay it costs 10 of them this allows you to get all the points back and then you can spend them again you can get these from the vip shop every week and you can you get 10 it's 30k to to get this this 10 and you can only buy 10 so if you plan on um resetting your talent trees on multiple beasts i recommend to start uh right now because you can only buy 10 per week and 10 equal um equal one reset all right 
it resets the talent points. It doesn't give you back the materials, right? And this is important to understand because there is also right there in the pack mall a beast level reverter. Okay, you can only buy it with real money. And I'm gonna explain it to you uh, what it does. So the thing is the respecting leaf talent respecting leaf okay it only allows you to get back the points and reallocate them but let's say you upgraded this beast and you don't want it upgraded anymore what can you do the thing is or maybe maybe you just want to use this beast as a material because you want like to start up this one okay maybe uh, oh start up not upgrade my bad I made a mistake. Maybe, like, I want to use these beasts and I want to make it a 10 star, okay? Maybe, maybe I want to do that. If I do that, I will lose all the materials used on my bird to get it to level 26 and I won't get them back. So what I have to do before I do that, unless you want to waste a shitload of materials, is that you want to click on the beast you click on this boost right on this book right there okay and then you get the option you have actually three options first one oh wait I, i'm gonna lock the beast just in case because i don't know if there is a confirmation message or something first option it allows you to release the beast okay so you get the, mar the materials back you get the you get a, you get some beast fruit as well and you get some beast clue and yeah you, you get some stuff back okay this is never worth it okay don't forget uh, don't do that you are losing all your beasts uh, that you used to get it to nine star you're also losing all the beast fruits like never do that uh, you can release beasts like right here you can like if you click on the book you can release beasts that are rare or epic uh you don't really need them unless they are megaloceros or whatever but never release legendary beasts all right then you got a second option right here it's just a release option but you can select all like to go faster okay like if let's say you want to okay I'm, I'm gonna unselect let's say i want to sell all my blue beasts i can just select all release and boom much faster and then you got the last option and this is what in what uh is of interest to us right now you can click right here you will you you will use some beast level reverter okay the amount depends on the level of your beast, I believe. And there you will get back literally everything you use to level up your beast. So mine is level 26, so I will get back all this stuff, okay? Resource we found for level reversion. I... So it's explained there, revert the beast level so it's back to level zero. All materials spent on upgrading the beast will be refounded and the beast consumed will be returned as beast traces. This is right there because to upgrade, to upgrade the level at some level, you, it requires to use legendary beasts. So, and a beast level can be reverted if it is at level one, or higher so yeah it makes sense it makes sense so here is how you revert a beast i hope that this clears out most of the question that you guys have uh, had actually and if you still have question after all that you shouldn't but if you still do please hit me up in the comments like for real, hit me up on Discord, hit me up in the comments. Um, 
you really have to understand all that. It's really important if you don't want to mess up and miss on and, and like waste materials and stuff like that. Beasts are a, a key feature in the game and upgrading beasts is really hard and I don't want people to mess up. So if you are not sure about something, hit me up in the comments and just ask, okay? There are no stupid questions. Uh, this stuff is pretty misleading. There are a ton of items that can be used to, to do weird stuff. You you have multiple buyable items to do multiple things. Like you can reset talents, but you can also reset the level. You can star up the... You can swap the star up. You can upgrade beasts. You can level them up. You can start them up like there are tons of stuff and it's pretty misleading and i wish developers would make it easier to understand for people so if you have a question hit me up just hit me up don't mess up don't waste your money guys don't don't do weird stuff like ask for advice ask for clarification and don't mess up okay this is there, there really is no uh stupid question okay so uh that's the end of the video if you liked it uh please subscribe and help share this content uh i insist share this content because a lot of people don't have a clue what they are doing a lot of people are completely lost when it comes to beast i see the same questions all the time so i hope this video will clear up any question on the subject and yeah help please help me guys share this video a lot and thank you for everyone for your support and for those that follow me on Patreon, all the subscribers on YouTube, like everyone who, who's helping me, uh, either by supporting me financially or whatever, likes on YouTube, everything helps, okay? Thank you everyone, help me share the, the content, uh, especially this one, it is really important, a lot of people are lost, so yeah. Thank you guys, see you uh, on the next video and I hope that you will not have any question. Like, if I see no comments on my YouTube video, I will be, sh I, I would be scared. Like, at least post a comment like, this helped a lot and now I don't have question. If you have question, just ask them. But please spam the comments so I know that people don't have question anymore or if you have ask for ask for like like ask your question okay no comments and i will be like completely lost i won't i won't be able to tell that if everyone understood and don't have any question or if people are too afraid to to ask so destroy the comment section guys it's important for this video especially anyway uh see you <laughs> and sorry uh it's a 20 minute long video but i really had to clarify every single point and be super precise on everything so see you